रामाय राम भद्राय रामचंद्राय वेद से रघुनाथ हाय नाथ हाय सीता यह पद ए नम युद्ध कांड चैप्टर नंबर 125 विभीषण एंटरटेन्स द मंकी लॉर्ड्स द रेसिटेशन बिगिंस नाउ विभीषण ब्रॉट ओवर द कार पुष्पक एट द ऑर्डर्स ऑफ रामा एंड टोल्ड हिम ऑफ इट He drew near him and spoke humbly with folded arms, "Lord, I await your orders." And in reply, Rama, having already known that Lakshmana would approve of it, and having taken deep thought himself, gave expression to his love and affection for those that looked up to him for everything. Vibhishna, these monkeys here have covered themselves with glory through wonderful deeds on the battlefield. So let them have enough of garments, ornaments, gems, and gold. With the help of these, we have captured Lanka, which till then was impregnable. These have fought with untold energy and reckless of their lives. With boundless courage, they never turn their backs to their foe. They have done their work most admirably. They deserve everything that I could do for them. Give them their fill of wealth and gems in return for what they have risked for me. This is the only way to express your gratitude for the help they have rendered to you. It is in your hands to reward them or put an insult upon them. If you entertain them as I tell you they will be mightily pleased thereat. Do not forget that it is to them that you owe this kingdom of Lanka. Grieve not that you have to spend a very large amount on them. The world will speak highly of you as one who never says nay to those that seek your help as one who secures friends at any cost and is gifted with boundless tenderness and fame I speak but what seems to be good for you and never take it as an order if the armies are not properly rewarded it would bring evil upon us It matters not that one is their lord and master they would abandon him at the most critical moment in fight if he torments them or is bad tempered in his dealings with them and does not reward them amply and treat them with kindness and consideration and in your case all this needs no stressing Vibhishna received the orders of Rama with respect and entertained the monkeys as became their status, ability, and valor with gems, wealth, ornaments, and garments. Then Rama, Sita, and Lakshmana ascended the car pushpaka. Raghuvira placed Sita on his lap and spoke to the monkeys and the rakshasas. Vibhishna, Sugriva, best and the bravest of monkeys, you have rendered me without stint every kind of help that one can hope for from one's friends. I give leave to all of you to go back to your favorite homes. Sugriva, you have discharged most faithfully the obligations of a friend with flaming heart and fear of wrong. Make your way back to Kishkinda with your armies. Vibhishna rule with vigilance over this kingdom of Lanka which I have placed in your hands do not like Ravana invade other kingdoms and torment their people Indra and the gods and the asuras too dare not lift their eyes to you I go back to Ayodhya the capital of my father you all those that follow you have my leave to go and I take leave of you in my turn The monkeys rakshasas and vibhishna hastened to reply with folded palms Rama we are eager beyond words to follow you to Ayodhya you must take us with you we will never be guilty of spoiling your gardens or tormenting your people or bringing havoc to your towns and woods we will be most careful about how we behave there we must feast our eyes and hearts with a grand function of your coronation We must lay our heads at the feet of that lady Kaushalya who is the most fortunate mother of the best and the noblest of sons then alone shall we reap the benefit of our countless births and we long to behold the lords Bharata and Shatrughna that came into the world with you and likewise the people over whom you rule then it will be time for us to go back to our place Rama replied to them What more can my heart desire than to go with you to Ayodhya? You have taken to me as a life of your lives. You have borne for me untold trouble, danger, and privations. Each and every one of you find a place with me and this car pushpaka. 
Not a single soul should stay back. Vibhishna, you too may come along with your beloved counsellors. Dear to me is my victory over Ravana and my meeting with my beloved Sita. To meet Bharata once more is dearer, but it is dearest to me to go back to Ayodhya with all of you. Then Sugriva and his monkeys, Vibhishna and his ministers got into the aerial car Pushpaka. It sprang into the air at the orders of Raghava and sped with the speed of thought. Seated on the car adorned with the golden swan, Rama was lauded by the monkeys and rakshasas and his heart knew boundless peace and joy as he shone like Kubera, the regent of the quarters. Monkeys and rakshasas ranged freely and comfortably in it and had everything that their hearts could desire. Mangalam Koshilendraya Mahaniya Gunapti Chakravarti Dhanurajaya Sarva Bhomaya Mangalam